वॉट इज योर फुल नेम माई फुल नेम इज स्वाथ संयुक्त लाम प्लीज कॉल मई ओके वेर आर यू फ्रॉम आई एम फ्रॉम हैदराबाद आई बीन लिविंग हियर फॉर द पास फोर्टीन ईयर्स ओके डू यू वर्क और स्टडी I've been working as a software engineer uh, for the past 15 years uh, here in Hyderabad. At present, I'm working with Wipro Technologies. Do you enjoy your work? Yeah, it, it's been uh, quite a long time that I've been working. Uh, so I wouldn't definitely say I'm, I enjoy working, but um, it has its own positives and negatives. Uh, I might not enjoy it, but I like it. Okay let's talk about cakes do you enjoy eating cakes yes uh, but uh, i have uh, specific preferences i don't enjoy any cake or i have like a preference when it comes to the flavor of the cake and also who made it like i usually enjoy the cakes uh, that are made by starbucks so i especially order from starbucks and i only like certain flavors like butterscotch or strawberry or chocolate Yeah. Did you like cakes when you were a child? No, I I I was uh, raised in a very uh, remote and very rural area. Uh, we had no access to cakes and my mother was a bad cook so she couldn't actually bake or I mean I was not even aware of baking uh, that uh, time. So no, I have not had uh, cakes that much when I was a child. Okay have you baked anything recently Yes I have baked one uh, chocolate cake I followed a recipe on which was posted on YouTube uh, on how to make chocolate cakes from oreos biscuits so I followed it and it came out very well Do you enjoy baking Yes especially if I'm in the mood I have to be uh, I'm very moody I'm driven by moods all the time like I'm driven by hormones and moods so when i'm in the mood and uh, when i have quite a good amount of time and when my kids and my husband um, ask for something like that then uh, yeah i do enjoy and baking on what occasions do people bake a cake in your country uh, i live in india so usually baking is uh, not that much uh, well known in india um uh, especially i'm from southern part of india so where in you know we cook a lot of different items than um, the basic baking uh, having said that uh, recently uh, the interest towards baking has grown um, because people have a lot of uh, people have access to a lot of culinary shows um, so we follow those and we try to imitate baking or learn baking so i would say uh, the interest towards baking is growing Uh, but i wouldn't definitely say that it's um, it's like you know part and parcel of the life over here in southern india okay let's talk about smile do you think people smile a lot nowadays uh i think people do smile people smile but they don't smile at me or when i'm in office i don't come across as a friendly person at all i come across as a um, very rigid kind of a person so i don't uh, see people smiling at me but uh, they do smile i mean they smile occasionally uh, especially um, uh, i'm working um, in an mnc and people are always busy in their work and they don't seriously think they have to smile at people or to like you know smile is a way of like wishing people or i really don't think indians especially people in my country consider smiling as a very good thing but i personally feel that you have to smile at people um so just to let them know that you are approachable and you are friendly uh, or for them to become uh, more comfortable with you to have a conversation okay when do you usually smile uh i'm also one of those indians who doesn't smile at all uh, especially at work places but uh, other than um, um other places like at home or with friends i'll be like smiling and laughing um so i smile and laugh a lot and uh, especially when i switch on tv and go for uh, shows which are on comedy like uh, coffee with karan the rapid fires and kapil sharma show at that time you know i'll be smiling and laughing mm, otherwise uh, i would say i'm not that kind of a 
I don't come across as a smiley face or smiling kind of a person. Okay, let's talk about reading books. Do you like reading books? I used to read books, uh, but not anymore. Um, when I was a student, I used to read a lot of books apart from the academic uh, uh, related books. I was reading a lot of novels by, um, uh, like, I don't remember the author. I think it's, uh, it's Jeffrey Archer. Uh, I was reading Cain and Abel and I was like I'm in so much love with the novels. And I was also reading a lot of novels by uh, Ayn Rand uh, and I was like quite excited to get to know that side of for uh, you know the books and all uh, but nowadays i don't really get time to read novels because i have a kid and i have a full time job and pretty much my 24 hours are covered with the, the other works other than reading okay would you like to write a book in the future i have always wanted to write a book on my childhood uh, because i had a very tough uh, childhood because my father was abusive towards my mom and the rest of us my siblings and myself. So I've always uh, thought that that story would be uh, interesting for others to learn, um, especially because uh, a person's childhood affects the rest of the personality development. Uh, so I wanted to actually write a book on that particular aspect. Uh, so I might um, as well write in future. Okay, let's talk about furniture in your home. Which piece of furniture is your favorite? Um, I have especially uh, designed my house. Uh, I googled a lot and um, you know I had a separate carpenter work for like six or seven months uh, to design the house. Uh, so I have that kind of an interest towards like having my house properly placed with all kinds of furniture. Um, the hall separator that we have in our house is my favorite area. Even when I took pictures um, most of my friends if, whenever I take a picture uh, nearby the hall separator and it is there in my picture most of my friends will be asking me oh my god what is that and um, you know is that actually your home or a hotel so it looks uh, fancy and it looks beautiful so that's my favorite area piece of furniture in my home did anyone ever give you furniture as a gift if yes why if no why not Nobody ever gave me furniture as a gift. Um, the only um, occasion wherein people give you gifts is my marriage. But I've not received any furniture uh, as a gift. They were giving all other um, things as gifts like photo frames or wall clocks. Maybe if wall clock counts as a f furniture, I, I don't think it counts as a furniture. I think it's a decorative item. So I didn't, I didn't get anything. Um, you know any furniture as a gift but I would really love if somebody gives me a furniture piece uh, I don't know the reasons why they haven't gifted me a furniture what kind of furniture would you like to buy I like uh, sofa sets um, a lot because uh, that's where I spend a lot of my time um, in the day so, um, and we have uh, L-shaped sofa in my house right now, which is very good. Um, but it, it has been seven years that we bought it. So I've been thinking whether if I can replace it with another nice uh, sofa set, or maybe I should uh, uh, buy uh, different chairs and organize them um, in some form, uh, uh, you know, in place of having a regular sofa, I would like to do something different like that. Let's talk about holidays. Do you like long holidays or short holidays? Uh, it depends on what I would like to do on a holiday. If I want to uh, go out of station and spend some time in some other place, then in that case, I would love to have a longer holiday. Otherwise, if I want to rest and uh, just get relieved from uh, the work tension, then in that case, I would prefer one or more, one or more days, one or two days, uh, along with my regular weekend. Where do you like to go on holidays? Um, I would like to go and visit my mother on my holiday. She stays nearby. Um, I do not like uh, traveling a lot because I become nauseous. Uh, um, I'm not a travel friendly person. 
so if um, uh, so if if i have holidays if i have some free time then i would like to go visit my mother she stays alone uh, so i would go there and you know uh, and then uh, uh, inquire about her well being uh, so this is what i would like to do on a holiday do you prefer beach holidays or city holidays i prefer um, city holidays um um i am not a uh, much of a beach person um because i am actually i don't like water i am i have phobia towards water uh, so i don't prefer to be near uh, water i had been to beaches once or twice in the past uh, but it took me a long time to step actually into the water so uh, i don't want to put myself in that position i would rather um, stay in the city and go to a nice resort um, and spend my time do many tourists visit your state yes um, i live in andhra pradesh and there are uh, several um, places uh, within andhra pradesh uh which can be considered as an attraction to tourists um in fact hyderabad itself hyderabad is where i am living with in andhra pradesh so hyderabad is called the city of pearls and it has a lot of different um places that you can visit like there is charminar and there is golconda and there are different parks um which are there and there is planetorium as well so there is a lot of historic uh, value to this place so uh, apart from hyderabad there are other areas within andhra pradesh or telangana um, wherein people can come and visit so i i am sure that a lot of people visit uh, telangana and ap uh, equally for the for you know in order to get uh, you know pleasure out of the place all right now i will give you two minute topic you will have one minute to prepare on that topic and you have to speak for one to two minutes fine your topic is talk about a movie you watched and that you like what was the movie why did you like it would you recommend it to a friend you have 1 minute to prepare can i start ma'am yes so um i'm the kind of a person who likes a lot of romantic comedies um so i usually don't like action movies or any other uh, type of movie so i recently um watched pride and prejudice uh, the recent version of it we have another version which was made uh, quite a long time ago uh, but this version that i wa- watched pride and Pre- prejudice um it was extraordinary um and the points uh, why i would uh, say that this is an extraordinary film or um, the casting the casting was spot on um the lead actors of the film were kira knightley and matthew mcfadden um kira uh, suited as elizabeth uh, on a greater level i couldn't even start to um, like praise her and matthew as um, uh, matthew was a um, male uh, lead actor uh, he was uh, cast as mr darcy um and he was like that uh, perfect he was like perfect so i would give the casting whoever does the casting i would really like to commend them um and apart from casting uh, the other thing that i liked was the scenery the photography of the film uh, the film is uh, based on the famous book pride and prejudice uh, but to bring out uh, the things which are there in the book um and the uh, how the film actually truly uh, resembles the content within that book uh, is made me surprise a lot so i ha- i would actually um, suggest any of my friends this movie i've already asked my husband to watch it uh, and i uh, watched it more than 10 times um, so if i like anything i would go on about it and watch it multiple times and i would be repeating the dialogues also i'm that kind of a uh, person so i have like watched uh, one particular scene Uh, on repeat for about 10 or 20 times the scene wherein mr darcy proposes to elizabeth and wherein she rejects him uh, um, they were spewing uh, a lot of hatred but their eyes will be in love throughout the scene so that kind of made me like you know even if you even you have lots of love within your heart uh, but then for some um, you know reasons you would still want to reject the opposite person and that particular scene uh, 
uh, was so romantic. Uh, I loved it, and I like I remember some of the lines from the scene as well. And I would really commend the director uh, for bringing out such uh, romance um, in a film. We all know that the actors were acting, and it is actually they were not actually in love. But then you don't want to believe that. Uh, you would really want to believe. Uh, uh, you would really feel that they both of them were actually in love. And then I've seen another trailer wherein the two lead actors were acting as cousins. I couldn't just take that movie at all because I watched Pride and Prejudice and I really thought that those two were in love. Uh, so that kind of an impact that film had on me. So I would definitely suggest this to suggest it to m all my friends. I've even shared this on my Facebook as well. Okay, now I will ask you a few questions related to this topic. Okay. What kind of movies do people usually watch in your country? I would I would say uh, it depends on the age group. Uh, suppose if younger generation is more uh, into action movies and uh, movies based on um, action figures, uh, I would say that. Uh, but if it is like a middle-aged generation, they are more into rom-coms, if I'm correct. And the older uh, generation, I think they, I don't know, but they are more into TV serials rather than movies. Do you think watching movies is a good way to relax? Yes, I would definitely say that, that um, a movie, if it's good and if you like it, it definitely relaxes you and it different it takes you to a different world and you forget about all your sorrows or stress. Do you think the way people watch movies nowadays is different from the past? Yes, uh, in the past we, uh, we only had few theatres and the culture of going to movie theatres uh, was not there. But nowadays we have uh, the concept of multiplexes and uh, you, I have about three or four multiplexes uh, within 10 minutes of uh, 10 kilometers of distance from my home. So you would think uh, the amount of um, availability to go and watch a movie is uh, increased a lot. So this generation is definitely watching and even on TV you have Netflix and there are other um, websites which allow you to watch movies sitting at home. So the accessibility is increased, which uh, in turn is making us watch a lot of movies. What do you think an actor has to do to become famous? They should act well. That's, that's, that's for starters. They should be good actors. And on top of it, um, I think they do a lot of things for publicity. I think it is mandated for them to do like uh, they give interviews and they put themselves out on social media and they uh, actually do a lot of advertisements um, just to make themselves known to uh, people. So I think uh, all of those things uh, they, they should do. Uh, I'm no expert, but this is what they do. And um, of all, uh, they should choose good films and they should act well. Do you think actors earn a good salary? They do earn a lot uh, more than um, regular employees, regular people. But I wouldn't say it is applicable to every actor because I've heard um, some of the actors who are not that famous, they end up earning only a few thousands uh, of rupees per scene or per episode. Uh, so, But most of them, if you are a star actor, if you are that top grade actor, then you would uh, end up earning crores. All right, this is the end of your speaking. Thank you.